What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today we're going to be ranking, reviewing, and looking at Case F of the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Alright, so we finally completed the entire case F of the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and this is currently the case that is in stores by me right now. Now, this case, I don't know if this is actually up to date. Um, I see people getting more trucks, more like um, the one with the donut tires, I don't know what case that is. But that seems to be the case that's out now. Anyway, so case F, this case is very interesting. So this actually has the second truck with the tank treads, which is the Jeep truck right here. But this case is kind of odd because it does have a chase or a treasure hunt piece, hunt truck or whatever you guys want to call it. And that is actually the Oscar Mayer truck. Now, this thing, I have yet to find it. I've personally only found one chase piece or treasure hunt piece for Hot Wheels, and that was the Barbie truck. But that was all the way back maybe not even 2021 it was probably in 2020 late 2020 and that was it i have yet to find herbie i have yet to find um the shuttle bus and now we have a oscar meyer truck with i think it's chicago style it has like horseradish or something on it it looks pretty cool but um yeah this case is kind of unique so we got the treasure hunt which is nice but then we also have some trucks that are kind of repeats but we also have a couple new ones so looking at the case here on the back of the card here we're looking at one bad scoop which is pretty funny but hey that's a brand new truck we got the jeep wrangler on tank treads which is pretty cool pretty unique then we got pure muscle in that awesome beautiful kind of purple stylish and then we have a legit town hauler with a brand new paint scheme and as far as new trucks go that's really it you can count i guess the chase piece because it is a chicago style oscar meyer wiener truck but um i sadly do not have that truck yet hopefully soon and then we are looking at Bigfoot, then Iron Man, then Corvette, which was a brand new casting for this year. So like I usually do in every video, I'm going to rank these from my least favorite to my favorite. And I wouldn't say this case is the best case of the year, but um, compared to case G or uh, E, I don't know, I think case E might be a little better. But um, these three cases um, that are currently getting released all within the week here... Um, it's just been a cluster. It, it's really been a struggle because so many different Walmarts and s Targets by me have nothing. But Walmarts have... It's like they got all three of these cases at once and it's just been a cluster trying to get everything. So it's been kind of a challenge. I know these videos, at least for Hot Wheels, it's been kind of hard to get them. But um, yeah, we finally got them. So let's review this. I'm going to start things off with my least favorite truck in case F for the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. All right, guys, we're gonna start things off with the truck that, you know, it's just kind of awkward. It's still awkward to look at. It's still kind of weird. However, on the bright side, this truck did have a treasure hunt piece. But however, we did see it before. It is none other than truck number three out of 75, which is Corvette, and also truck number two out of six for fan favorites. So I don't know how I feel about when they take a Hot Wheels car and they basically throw it on a monster truck chassis. It's kind of weird to me. It doesn't look right. I can understand the chase piece, the Barbie truck. Um, that's pretty cool. But, um, you know, we already saw this truck. I believe this was in the first case. Let's see. Yes, it is. It was in case A. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't like when they take a Hot Wheels car and throw it on a monster truck body. The Camaro looks weird. Um, I don't know, it's just something, you know, Hot Wheels has all these, you know, car companies that they work with, and, you know, I, I get it, you know, you take a Corvette and throw it on a monster truck body, but, I don't know, I, I just hope this is not a trend that's just gonna continue, because there's so many cooler things they can do, you know, like, throw one of your custom cars or something, like, you know, do the scaling or something. I just, I do not like when they take Corvettes or Camaros or Mustangs or whatever it's going to be in the future and do that. I mean, 
I don't know. I know I'm not the only one, but um, maybe for this, change it up. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like it. It gets brownie points because it was a treasure hunt, and it was the first treasure hunt for 2021, but I don't like the Cam Camaro or Corvette. I mean, I like the Corvette more. I can't stand the Camaro, but can we not see the Camaro this year? Please, Hot Wheels, please. All right, so coming in at number seven is none other than Iron Man. Well, here it is right here. So, yeah, this truck, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, Iron Man, it was a pretty cool truck last year. I do like the card art this year. This year, it actually has a picture of Iron Man, so I think that's pretty cool. This is actually truck number 45 out of 75. And once again, it's a copy and paste truck. We saw it last year. The truck did have a... Delco ex or Deco exclusive at Target, which was, I think the truck was a little more silver, and actually, I like that version a lot more than this one, but, um, you know, it's not that bad, I mean, if you like Iron Man, I mean, it's cool, but, I don't know, just in this case, you know, when the Iron Man truck came out for Target exclusive, it was basically all over the place, and that truck's been sitting on the shelf for so long, and even before this one got released, in this case, you can get this truck. So this is definitely, I would probably consider the major peg warmer of this case. So one weird thing with those Marvel trucks, they're actually not like listed like in Fasty Foods or like Neon Shocker, stuff like that. And I think that's kind of odd. Anyway, coming in at number six is something that I give credit for Hot Wheels. I give them credit. They tried. But number six is none other than the Jeep Tread Truck. So the treads, oh man, they could have been better. <laughs> um, so Twisted Treads, I like the idea. I like, you know, the whole story behind it. This is truck 40 out of 75. However, I don't like how they're planned out. I know they have plastic, like, little wheels on the bottom. But I kind of wish, and what they should have did, was the whole tread track that whole brown piece that should have been rubber that can come off i think if it was like that it would have been a little better um that's the major takeaway from this now the jeep casting itself i like the jeep casting last year it looked kind of weird this year it looks like it's a little scaled better a little bigger than that blue jeep we got but um with it sitting on these treads you can't really tell i mean i gave hot wheels credit they tried i like it however i feel like this should have been like plastic or something a little different and this is also i believe the first time we're seeing the jeep truck this year so i mean that in itself is pretty cool but i just i don't know how i feel about those treads i'm kind of mixed on it um they can't really roll as good so i do like the body though the body and the paint and the dirt and everything gets brownie points but those treads are definitely the reason why it's sitting so low on this list all right so now we're cracking the top five and this was a pretty tough decision so when i do these i kind of go based on what we've seen what we haven't seen um something unique like a new paint scheme on a casting or whatever the case may be but this one I'm going to have to put it down here just because we've seen it already. It was huge news when they signed with Hot Wheels. But here it is, cracking the top five, Bigfoot. So, <laughs> my main thing with Bigfoot is we've seen this Bigfoot. We've seen it already. We have a million of them with this casting. And I love Bigfoot. So does everyone else. Hot Wheels. <laughs> you guys have so many opportunities to make so many different Bigfoot paint schemes, Bigfoot trucks. Um, you know, you can throw in the Power Wheels Bigfoot. You can throw in the Firestone Bigfoot. You could throw in, you know, Wildfoot. You can throw in a different version of Snakebite. Um, Dungeon of Doom. Uh, you know, there's so many different things. You guys have the WWE, so you can make the Hollywood Hogan trucks. I mean, there's a lot Hot Wheels can do with Bigfoot. And... It's kind of odd that they're just copying and pasting this one. You know, we have yet to see really a trophy truck body style Bigfoot. And that'd be cool. Or like a 1993 Ford or early 2000s. I mean, there's just so many different ways they can go with Bigfoot. It's really honestly endless. And with them coming out with the five pack 
of the Target exclusive Bigfoot 5 pack. You know, it's good, but it's kind of a letdown too because it's all trucks we've seen besides one. And I feel like Hot Wheels really needs to step it up when it comes to Bigfoot because this is their main thing and I know we're happy we have it and thank God we have, you know, them making Bigfoot again, but come on, please make different paint schemes, please make different trucks. There's so many different ones. Um, I haven't gotten the five pack exclusive Target Bigfoot pack thing yet. When I do, I'll review it. But um, from what everyone's saying, you know, it's everything we had already, and it's just it could have been better. It, it, you know, let's turn this into what could be instead of what could have been. Please, Hot Wheels, make a new Bigfoot paint scheme, something. Please, I'm begging you. So, coming in at number four, this was kind of uh, difficult to choose, but I kind of like this. I don't know who to pick. Actually, we're going to go with this truck. So, truck number 44 out of 75, a truck that finally got its own name, Town Hauler. So, last year was kind of interesting because there was an actual Town Hauler, and, well, not last year, I think the year before, maybe 2020, I don't know, one, one of the years, but it was on Demo Derby. And I think the only way you were able to get it was if you went to a Monster Truck live show. And that was kind of interesting. But now we finally have Town Hauler in the Nitro or Neon Shockers, which I love the Neon Shockers. This is the fourth one. However, looking at this truck, you can't really see a lot of neon. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting by itself. But I do like the truck and I do love how they put Town Hauler finally on here. And... It's truck number 4 out of 7 for Neon Shockers, and it's truck 44 out of 75, and I honestly like it. It's not a bad looking truck. Um, honestly, I would choose a little more neon colors, but it kind of has like that. You know, you look at this thing, and it reminds me of something that should belong in like the 80s, <laughs> but it is pretty cool. I do like it. Um, I would say this is probably one of the more common trucks currently on the pegs right now but nonetheless it's always cool to see something new like i said this suv casting is so they can do so many different things with it and now town hauler actually has a legit truck so that's pretty cool in itself one thing i don't like about this casting though is like <laughs> this always irritates me you see the front end of the rendering <laughs> it's a different front end it's a different headlight and then it's like totally different on the truck itself just make the f-150 casting with it please that'd be so much better let's crack on to the top three all right so the top three pretty difficult to choose but i'm gonna have to put this one at number three it is an awesome paint scheme and this was actually the last truck i needed to complete this case before the treasure hunt truck which i do not have but here it is coming in at number three we got pure muscle for the paint crush number three out of five and truck number 43 out of 75 overall this thing looks pretty cool so the paint crush i like this design you know this whole gear with hot wheels it seems like they're going for like this kind of retro neon kind of 80s look here with the paint crush and the neon shockers and i don't mind it a lot of these trucks actually look really really good and this one i love this purple and i love the design i think it looks very cool it has those purple chrome bead locks which is pretty nice the truck has no headlights but that's okay i mean i really like the purple the truck really stands out looking at the back here you know it's just your normal um I thought the motor was right there. That was weird. Uh, normal pure muscle casting, and I like it. It's a nice looking truck. Very retro, and you know, this thing, a lot of people have been getting this one just to customize them, and this would look pretty sick on a Spin Master chassis. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I like it. I really do like this. I love purple. Purple is actually one of my favorite colors when done right. So. Yeah, I would say this one, I wouldn't say it's the rarest one, but it's definitely a rare one, if that makes sense. But um, it's kind of interesting because I believe in case E, there's another one, another retro one, just like Pure Muscle. It could be Midwest Madness, but I don't know. I don't have that case yet. But um, 
nonetheless, pretty cool. Love the purple, love the racing stripes, love the design. Sitting in at number three. So coming in at number two, this is pretty tough because I like both trucks, but I'm gonna have to go with this one at number two. Just because it's a new paint scheme, but it's a casting we've seen, and it's none other than one bad scoop. So this is pretty funny. I I really like this. When I first saw this, I kind of laughed at it. One bad scoop. Um, truck number three out of six for fast foodie, and it's also truck number 42 out of 75 overall. The colors on this truck really make this thing pop, and that's the one thing I like about it. I like what they did with the teal, with the cone, with the scoop smelting, and the ice cream melting. I mean, overall, the truck looks very well put together. I like the, uh, basically the flowers on the top of the truck. It's just overall a fun looking truck. Very nicely done. And I'm actually going to read the back of it because I haven't yet. So the name of the truck is One Bad Scoop, which I'm guessing there was a truck last year called One Bad Ghoul. And I'm going to guess they replaced One Bad Ghoul with One Bad Scoop. Um, the truck type is city. The strength is always chill. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Always chill. Um, the crash attack is Cone of Shame, which is pretty cool. So once again, here's a case where you have the same casting, but the you make a brand new truck so just like uh, I think it was burger delivery which I believe replaced all beefed up same scenario I like it um, this is the kind of stuff I would like to see from Hot Wheels if they're going to copy and paste castings and trucks like this please make it fun please make it into something where it's like you know something along these lines where you can create a whole new identity a whole new paint scheme and if done right, you know, you get something cool like this. You know, if one bad ghoul is actually gone, hey, I'm going to miss that truck because it was pretty cool. But um, this one's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, it's not one for the macabre like one bad ghoul was, but I really love that teal. The colors blend, and it fits the theme perfectly. And sitting at number one is the truck that was number one in its case last year when it debuted. And I actually don't have it in the packaging, but it is the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. So this thing, it's just so funny. It, it's I love this thing. Now, the difference with this and the chase piece is the chase piece, I believe, has green rims and it's got like green... I would say horseradish or something on it. It's a little different in certain areas. Um, this version of the truck, just the normal version, is actually just a copy and paste of last year's truck, which, you know, I'm okay with. I'm happy this truck at the chase or the treasure hunt piece. That's pretty cool in itself. But um, I just can't get over how this thing looks, dude. This is... um definitely something you expect to see from Hot Wheels. Um, who would have ever thought this would be a monster truck one day? I don't know. But, um, you know, growing up, having this thing drive around, the actual, like, truck, if you've ever seen it in person, you know, it's pretty funny. And I love it. it it's just so funny looking. This is one thing where, you know, Hot Wheels did it right, where they took a car and they actually put it on a monster truck body and it's not weird looking, it's not odd looking, it's actually very funny looking, and my son actually loves this truck, this is actually one of his favorite ones, which is why it's open, but um, yeah, it's just really funny looking, and I love it, I honestly love it, I want to get the chase piece, I cannot wait to find that one, hopefully I can find it, I did see one on eBay for $68, which I'm not paying that, but um, yeah, hopefully soon, and yeah. So yeah, guys, that's basically going to do it for Case F here for the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Let me know what one you guys thought was your favorite, or what one is your favorite, and what one you guys don't like the most. I mean, I know this one really didn't have any new castings, if you want to get technical, but we did see some f new trucks. I mean, you got three new paint schemes on old castings on the top. You got the Jeep Wrangler, which is brand new with those treads this year. Um, honestly... When you look at this, and if they would have made a different Bigfoot, maybe, you know, the Trophy Body Cruiser paint scheme Bigfoot, you know, that would have won. We haven't seen that one yet. I really hope we see that one. But, you know, let me know in the comments what one you think is the best. So let me know if you think the Oscar Mayer truck or Bigfoot, even Iron Man. But I don't want to say this is the worst case. I think the worst case was the case before this. Um, case... G in my book, the one I completed. I haven't gotten case E yet, 
but I think Case G so far is kind of sitting at the lower end of the totem pole. But Case F, pretty solid. Um, happy we got some new trucks. Got to see those treads again. Got to see the Oscar Mayer again. We got one bad scoop. We got a town hauler. So take the good with the bad. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, and I will be back within the week, within a couple days, maybe tomorrow, with more videos. And yeah, so let me know what you guys thought. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.